Hey everyone, tonight's lesson is on similarity ratios. As always, if I'm going too quick for you, feel free to pause or rewind to the part that you missed. Now, similarity ratios obviously have something to do with similar triangles, so let's investigate. So, what do we already know about similar triangles? We learned in our transformation lesson that similar triangles have the same shape, but an overall different scale. So this means that all the angles of similar triangles are always going to be congruent. However, the triangles themselves are not going to be congruent because their sides have different lengths. So now, since we know that one similar triangle is a scaled up or scaled down version of the other, we can find a relationship between the side lengths. Here we have triangle ABC with lengths 3, 4, 5 and triangle XYZ with lengths 9, 12, and 15. It's easy to see the relationship is that each side is three times larger or three times smaller than its corresponding triangle. But this is not always the case. Not the three thing, but the fact that the sides will always be multiples of the same number. In fact, if I told you that the sides of XYZ were 6, 8, and 10, these two triangles would still be similar with a scale factor of 2. However, if the sides were 12, 16, and 19, these triangles would not be similar because side XZ does not have the same scale of 4 as the other two sides. However, corresponding sides must always have the same scale. This means, say the scale factor is K, that XY will equal K times AB, YZ will equal K times BC, and ZX will equal K times CA. So, if we are given two triangles that we are told are in fact similar, we can easily find any missing sides. Here, we're given side AB as 2 and BC as 5. Now, if we know that side XY is 4, how can we find the value of X, which is side YZ? Sure, we could go with our instinct that 4 is 2 upscaled 2 times, and thus multiply 5 by 2 to get our X to equal 10. But, the foolproof way to do this is to set up a scale. Here we have AB over XY equals BC over YZ. If we plug in our data, we get 2 over 4 equals 5 over X. Now just cross, multiply, and divide, and voila, we get our answer, 10. Simple enough, right? So, now that we all know how to do this, here's four quick homework questions. Write your ratios and answers on a Word document and submit it to Moto by 9 p.m. tonight so I know you watched the lesson. If you're having trouble, just re-watch the video to get a better feel for everything. Good luck and have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow for a fun partner project.